see you later, Fruit Ninja! What up, what up, it's Chat Wild Clay, and in my last Ninja Weapons video, I asked you guys what weapons do you want to see next, and a ton of you said Marvel weapons, and a lot of Black Panther weapons too, so let's go buy some Marvel weapons and test them out on a bunch of fun stuff. Here we go. And the first weapon we will be testing out are Black Panther's Claws. Black Panther's suit has retractable claws that allow him to cut through various metals by breaking it down on a molecular level. Hmm, now I think it's gonna be pretty tough to find a suit that has some awesome claws like this, but let's jump online and see what we can find. I haven't found any gloves that have claws on them already, but I did find these gloves, so I think this is gonna be a good step one here. And then in addition to these gloves, we're gonna add on these Iron Reaver Stainless Steel Silver Finger Claw. These things look pretty sharp here. Look at that picture. So I'm gonna go ahead and order four of these, and we're gonna pair these with that gloves. Let's order them. And Black Panther's claws have arrived. First, we have the Black Panther gloves. Let's open these up and try them on. So here are the gloves, do they fit? I have pretty big hands, so we will see. All right, the gloves fit, but they need some claws. So in here, we have all of our claws. One, two, three, four, Iron Reaver Claw. Step one, step two, step three. Also look for these hot fantasy products. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for those, thanks. Look at this. That looks pretty deadly. That is really sharp. So if I put this on my pointer finger, for example, there's a little loop here, and then my finger does fit all the way up into here, and it bends really nicely. That's pretty cool how it has pivots uh, all along the finger here. And so I could go ahead and stab something like this, or I could make a fist, and I could claw something <laughs> with this. There are all four claws. Let's put them on my right hand. That looks really cool, doesn't it? Check this out, <laughs> really deadly. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to go outside and try these out. Uh, but now before we go outside and test these out, I need the full effect. So let's go online and see if we can get a Black Panther costume. Here we go, Marvel Civil War, Captain America Black Panther costume deluxe adult men. Perfect, let's go ahead and order this and become the Black Panther. And the Black Panther costume has arrived. This looks pretty huge. It looks like it's gonna be super muscular, padded jumpsuit with 3D gauntlets and 3D boot tops with mask. There's the mask. Cool, that's a heavy duty mask. I'm digging it. And come on out of there, Black Panther. There we go. Yep, it's huge, uh, but it should be perfect for me, I think. A lot of padded muscles there. And uh, why don't we just put this on and become the Black Panther in one second, of course, like always. Here we go. Oh, I am the Black Panther. Let's go outside with these claws and destroy some things. Oh, and then like, I almost scratched the lens there with my awesome claws. Check these out. I got my buddy Justin behind the camera here. What do you think of these claws, Holy Justin? smokes. Yeah, and these Those are legit razors. And I, I heard the voice of our friend Magic a little earlier. What? Yeah, from the X-Men, you know? Hey, Magic, where are you? Here she comes. Shh. Oh, I like Magic. <laughs> Magic, I noticed that uh, you don't have blonde hair anymore. What's going on there? I can't afford the hairstylist anymore, so I'm just gonna go to my natural color. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so that blonde hair was dyed this whole time in the comic books? You know, most blondes. Our fake oh no, she's exposing, <laughs> OMG. exposing the secrets. Well, you want to know my secret? What's that? My secret is I'm not actually a, a black cat, black, black cat, black panther. <laughs> I'm a white planter. Hey. <laughs> the pasty white panther. <laughs> <laughs> Beware of the pasty white panther. <laughs> Check these claws out, magic. Oh wow. Pretty amazing. These are all weapons? These are sharp here. Go ahead and give it a poke. Oh, <laughs> oh bleeding. My God. And these are sharp too. Okay, I won't poke those. Make sure they're not. And I won't. And I won't poke you. Is that what you were gonna say? I was gonna say something, but then you cut me off, Panther. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, really? it's because he's got all those razor sharp claws. Okay. He yeah. can't stop cutting people off. Ooh. Uh, you gotta stop picking your nose with these. Oh. <laughs> you won't have a nose. Or a face. Or a face. <laughs> I think these would do a really good job of slicing a soda bottle. What do you Ooh. guys think? Oh yeah, definitely. All right, let's do it. What you got on your head there, Panther? I've got a GoPro camera here, Whoa. so we are gonna, you guys are gonna see it from my perspective, what it looks like. 
And we're gonna test these claws out on an emoji water balloon first here. Sweet! Let's I'm do in love. Sayonara, emoji water balloon. Ow! <laughs> and there's a little bit of water blue. Ooh, that claw. that's Look gruesome. That. Now I'm ready to go battle the soda ninja. Let's go. Oh no. Wait, where's Christopher walking at? Oh no. I once threw a cat woman out of a window. <laughs> you know, for a second there, you really frightened me. <laughs> well, I don't like that cat abuse because I'm a Black Panther. Sayonara, soda ninja. We all got soaked. Not, <laughs> not the most efficient weapon against Soda Ninja, but still effective. It sure did. My face is like covered in soda. I can't like see through these eye holes right now. <laughs> we all got, over. we got soda on the camera too. Yeah, and all over Justin. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna go clean off the camera lenses, and then we're gonna go get another weapon. Woo! And the next Marvel weapon we will be testing out is, hey, you know, since we just met Magic outside, she needs her sword. Most recently, I've been seeing her wield a super huge soul sword in Marvel Contest of Champions. So let's jump online and see if we can find a super huge sword for Magic. And first, before we do that, I wanna thank all of you guys who have already hit that thumbs up button underneath this video. Thanks for doing that, that really helps out this video. And let's go get this sword. Here we go, polypropylene buster sword for $39.95. This thing looks freaking huge. Fantasy weapons and real combat practice never mix well until now. I think this is gonna do the trick. So let's order it. And the soul sword has arrived. Take a look, it is huge. I can't even fit it on the camera. Let's get it out of the bag here first. There we go. <laughs> it's really huge. So this must go on the tip like so, all the way down towards the handle here. There we go, I just had to pull it all the way down. Cool, somewhat lightweight for the size, uh, but it still carries enough weight where I'm gonna be able to chop some things. It's got a really cool design in here, which was kind of hard to see online. It's got like this sawtooth shape, kind of like lightning bolts or something uh, on the design here. And then there's a bunch of little engravings as well. And it's got a ring at the bottom here, so maybe I can spin it around my finger. Oh, but if I do that in here, I'll probably like knock a light over or something, so I better not do that. All right, well, Magic is gonna be very happy that we got her her soul sword. So let's go outside and have some fun chopping some stuff up with this. hi -ya! All right, we have got Magic's sword here. Uh, Magic, where are you? Poof! Yeah. Oh! Almost Whoa. cut her in half, like Almost a magic show. Almost cut you in half. I noticed that in the last scene you were missing your sword, so I thought I'd get you your soul sword here. All right. Look how, look how huge that is on her. Whoa! <laughs> That's pretty much my height. Show us your moves, magic! Okay, 
okay, enough showing off. Oh. I think it's my turn to show off. Simpsons Watermelon Ninja. Simpsons? Because he has the three eyes, like the fish outside the power plant. He got infected by chemical waste. You gave him a third eye. It's like a third eye monster to me. No, oh, no, you no, didn't. No, no. no, you didn't. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> All right, three eyed soda ninja, prepare to meet your maker. Woo! You guys ready? Woo! Hey. Gonna warm up here. still see. That was one tough fruit ninja, wasn't it, guys? Oh my wow. goodness. I'm impressed with this guy and with this guy. So let's go back inside and get another weapon. And the next Marvel weapon we will be testing out is, oh yeah, that's right. Thank you guys, all of you who have already clicked on that bell symbol down below because that means you get here quick because you get notified every time I upload. And I'm gonna be using a bunch of your guys' comments later on in this video. Uh, so please have that bell on and if you do have it on, make sure it's not just black, but black with those ringing symbols on it. All right guys, the next weapon we will be testing out is another of Black Panther's weapons, the Energy Daggers. They are energy constructed blades and Black Panther has the ability to control the power level. He's even able to set it high enough to slice through metal. Hmm, I think I know exactly what we need for this. The Indigo Assassin Throwing Knives for $14.95. I think these are perfect because they have that purplish color, very similar to Black Panther's daggers. <laughs> Your targets will be impressed as the nine inch stainless steel knives penetrate their flesh. Well, I sure wouldn't be impressed if one of these hit me. I'd be more like crying probably. <laughs> Let's order these things so we can test them out. And the energy diggers have arrived. Let's check them out here. Arrow blades, that's all it says. All right, take it out of the plastic. Comes in a nice sheath here to protect them. And you can loop this around your belt as well with that little loop there. Oh, that looks cool. Uh, this one. Wow, that is a really cool color, I like that. I also like that it has this like nylon wrapping around the handle, gives you a really good grip. And this point is super sharp. I think we should use these as throwing daggers and I think these are gonna pop some emoji enemies very easily outside. Oh yeah, listen to that, that's gonna do some damage. All right, let's go outside and test out Black Panther's energy daggers. And now it's time for Black Panther's daggers. Whoa. Check these out. Dang. Look at the color, isn't that cool? That's beautiful and hey. deadly. Hey, Magic, come on over here. Oh. Check these babies out. Oh, ooh, they're purple. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. The emoji balloons aren't gonna be smiling. No, they won't. <laughs> and if you wanna do a really cool move, you can put your pinky through one and go like that. Oh, I see. And then if you're uh, if you do it really fast, it'll go flying way over there. Exactly, exactly. Or right into Magic's head. <laughs> exactly. She would not like that at all. <laughs> no, all right. not really. Let's go get our arch nemesis enemy, the emoji water balloon, and see how he does against the daggers. Ah! Well, I was like not ready for that. <laughs> Meet your challengers. And I'm gonna throw them from the holding the blade. I hear that's the best way to do it. Here we go. I just gotta go a little higher.
What's up now? What's up now? All right. Gonna take out another one. Oh, heck yeah. Let's All right. do it. That is one tough emoji, huh, Magic? Yeah. Oh, you guys uh, met your match. But I've got another digger, so let's take him out. All right. Holy cow. Gosh. Look at that. Gosh, that stool has survived so many attacks. The stool yeah, is invincible. <laughs> yeah, man. Stool ninja. All right, well, let's go back inside and get another weapon. Woo! And the next Marvel weapon we will be testing out comes from Ghost Rider and it is Ghost Rider's Chain. With it, Ghost Rider possesses the ability to generate, control, and project mystical fire at will. Now, I'm not gonna be able to find a chain that projects fire probably, but I think finding a chain should be pretty easy. All right, here we go. It's a chain, it's 10 feet. So let's add this to cart and test this chain out. Ghost Rider's chain has arrived in a super nice plastic wrapping. Come on out, chain. Ooh, it's shiny. It didn't look so shiny in this plastic. I have never used a chain as a weapon before, so it's pretty long. It's 10 feet long, I guess. And I'm gonna hit some fruit like that. It will not be on fire because I don't know how to light metal on fire. <laughs> Let's take this chain outside and destroy some stuff like Ghost Rider does. Whoa! Do you know what Marvel superhero uses the chain? I was just gonna ask, who uses a chain? It is Ghost Rider, remember? What? That's right, yeah, on his motorcycle. Got, he typically has like a flaming chain. He'll go like this and he'll throw it into the pool, right? <laughs> <laughs> I bet you, you could do some cool martial arts with this though, huh? Oh yeah, some so Jet Li stuff. You go like this, like that. Woo! Oh. Hit your mask. <laughs> Glad you wore your mask for this bit. Oh, yes. <laughs> do you so believe in magic? I believe. I do. No, I don't think Oh, are you going to wrap her up and throw her in the pool and no. see if she can get out like Houdini? Hey, how'd you get out? Hey, oh. It's magic. She, she's in the, <laughs> I seriously was trying to wrap you up and somehow you got out. I didn't sign her. up for this, though. Hop there in the pool. <laughs> bye bye. Good luck, Houdini. <laughs> oh, my God. You gave me a heart attack. As I was throwing you, you go, woo! And then like extra momentum oh. into the pool. I almost dropped you in there. Not the time to bring out your inner ninja magic. <laughs> yeah, that's enough of the chain. Let's go, yeah. well, the, chain, the chain and you anyway. Let's yeah. go uh, destroy some fruit with it. Much better. See you later, fruit ninja. Oh, what did I hit? Oh, you hit him in the butt. Oh, I hit him in the butt? You cracked his butt. I you, cracked. Gave, you gave him a butt crack. <laughs> he lost an eye also. Oh, oh no. And it works. Chain beats Fruit Ninja very easily. Let's take this chain back inside and get another weapon. And the next Marvel weapon we will be testing out comes from Gambit and it is Gambit's Metal Bow Staff. It is his main choice of a weapon and it is a metal staff that can be shortened. He also has been known to kinetically charge it to give it more power. All right, so let's jump on over to KarateMart.com and they've got this three piece aluminum Eskrema staff starting at $99.95. So let's add this to cart and test it out. Whew. And Gambit's bow staff has arrived. Well, actually it's the 
three-piece aluminum Escrima staff. It's gonna work as the bow staff perfectly. Credimart.com, martial arts supplies. Okay, and it comes with this nice case. Let's take this out. There it is, three pieces, but wait, I've got the fourth piece, so I can do either the five foot staff or the six foot staff. So what I'm excited about these is that they're gonna go together very nicely like so. So it has a, a bolt here and this end has a screw. So I can put this together like so. There we go, now I have one big, solid six foot bow staff. I can't even fit it in the camera, guys. It's so long. And this is hard metal. I sure hope I don't whack myself while spinning this around outside. Let's take this outside and destroy some things. And here we've got Gambit's walking stick. Oh, but just wait. It's not just a walking stick. Whoa. It's also a bow staff. Boom! Whoa! Hmm. It's pretty lightweight. Really? But it's very strong, yeah. It looks heavy. Give it a hold. Oh yeah, that is light. Yeah. Nice. But it'll definitely do a good job of destroying some fruit. Uh, where's Magic? Oh! Oh my gosh! She's just like Magic. I am. I'm Magic. Check out this. Now this bow staff's a little bit too tall for you. Just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Usually you don't want it like a whole foot taller than your head, right? Only by that much. So a very cool <laughs> feature with this bow staff is this little thing right here. It's gonna be even taller? There's your bow staff. Yeah, yeah. now that one fits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get him, V. <laughs> Throw some kicks. Oh. oh! Let's go ahead and add that to that. Now it's a little bit more height appropriate. Oh, it's yeah. supposed to be Oh my, my gosh, height? it's yeah. perfect. Oh. So, so we took out this middle section and replaced it with a little short middle section. Yay! Oh. And now I got Oh! <laughs> Get him, V. Whoa, you guys are. Oh. <laughs> 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 are you gonna be like fucked? <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> All right, let's take this bow staff and have you throw some enemies at me. How about that? All right, let's do it. All right, Mr. Pepper, are you ready? Oh, yeah! <laughs> Mr. Pepper, more like Dr. Pepper. Oh! Hit you. I know, it got in the pool. Ball staff beats Ninja Pepper. Woo! Let's go back inside. And if you wanna get any of the weapons that I am using today, go ahead and click the links down below. I linked to all of them. And a special thank you to Karate Mart who makes all the awesome weapons that I always use. They are giving you guys a 10% off code. Type in Wild Clay on their website and you get 10% off. Thanks Karate Mart. And thank you guys who leave these awesome comments down below. I'm gonna show a bunch of comments here from people who have that notification symbol turned on. These are some of my favorite comments from the last video. If you haven't seen this video, check that out right here. If you're not subscribed to me, right there. If you're not subscribed to V, check her out there. And if that video doesn't look good, certainly you can check this one out. It's pretty cool too. Don't forget to leave me a comment below. Let me know what you want to see me do next. See you guys real soon with a brand new video. Hiya!